Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we got more changes coming from the cruise lines. Royal Caribbean has now dropped the vaccine requirement, but only for some ports with still some restrictions. And then Princess, yeah, they're making a lot more changes in Alaska. First off, I want to make a quick correction to yesterday's story about the gentleman who went overboard. I first announced that it was on the Uridam, however that was incorrect. The Uridam was involved in the rescue operations, but it was the Konzingdam. Konzingdam is the, is the ship that uh, the gentleman went overboard. Apparently he is a 31 year old entertainer. He's been on the sh he was on the ship since May. And um, yeah, I'm sorry if I worried anybody who was have crew members or friends on board that ship. It was the Konzing Dam, not the Ura Dam. I just wanted to, to clear that up. And again, that no no one has turned up, and the search has been called off. So I'm afraid that's not going to end in a, a great story. Any way we look at it. Now, while we're in Alaska, let's talk about Princess Cruise Lines. We all know the problems with Skagway and the rock slides that have been going on there. Three in the past few weeks and it's suspected more before the end of the year. Well, uh, Princess has had to make some adjustments too because the, the dock that actually is the one affected is the Princess dock. That's their main dock that they dock their, their most of their ships at. So they've had to make some changes and I've been trying to figure some of them out. Um, so here we go, are you ready? So the August 23rd, September 6th sale dates for the Majestic Princess and the August 25th and September 1st sailings for the Discovery Princess will now go to Icy Strait Point instead of Skagway. The August 16th and the August 30th sail dates for Royal Princess will feature Hanes. Um, well, I'm on the Royal Princess in August. Now that August 30th sale date, my sale date's on the 7th and then the 27th is the return sailing. Um, so I, I think they mean their arrival dates are these dates. This is not the sale dates. These are the arrival dates in Skagway. Well, now instead of going into Skagway, apparently I'll be going to Haines, at least on the second part of my trip. But my first trip looks like I'm going to Skagway. So I'm going to get the best of both worlds. I'm going to get to visit both both places on, on my back-to-back. -back. So that, that works out for me. And then finally, on August 11th, September 8th, September 22nd, sale dates for the Discovery Princess and the September 13th sale date for Royal Princess will feature Sitka, Alaska instead of Skagway. Again, this is all changes because of the potential rock slide and the potential uh, danger to people in that area. They can only fit so many ships into port. The other day, um, people were in port and you know you can see five, six ships in that port easily and big ships, the Encore, the Discovery, you know, those size ships. Well, uh, if you close that main dock on Princess, that really cuts down on the amount of room in the dock and it's gonna hurt the amount of, obviously the amount of visits. So there was already 30 visits canceled from the cruise line's itineraries, where well, you add these onto it and you're, you're closer to 40 visits now canceled from a major size cruise ship. It's definitely gonna hit the pocketbooks. It's definitely gonna hit the people who are trying to make a living after all the turmoil they've had in the past two years. It's, it's just a shame. We also have some changes to protocols now from Royal Caribbean on vaccine status and also some celebrity cruise line updates because they're not the same as Royal, which is unusual. So uh, let me get into that. But let me, before I do, let me just invite you to, hey, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, just smash the subscribe button. Just updates you, says, hey, there's another video out. 
would you like to watch it? It doesn't force you to watch it. It just says, would you like to watch it? It's very polite. It, it do, it's not a rude button. It, it doesn't mandate you watch the video, but it does suggest it. <laughs> uh, again, it really does help the channel out. And it that's how YouTube knows, hey, people like cruising content. Let's share it to more people and see if they're interested as well. That's how we keep the community growing and keep interest in cruising strong. And again, thank you to everybody out there who subscribed and to those about to do so. I really do appreciate it. Well, Norwegian Cruise Line came out and said, yeah, we're just going to drop the vaccine for these ports in North America now. You're not going to have to be vaccinated unless you're going to certain countries. And, and, and everyone went, well, there was two reactions. Some of the reactions were, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to sail on a ship where more people aren't vaccinated. And then there were the others who are saying, thank goodness we can finally get back on a cruise ship and because we're not vaccinated. Uh, it's a very, it's this side or this side, uh, but there is a growing populace now that's right down the middle of the road who really don't care and just want to get on a cruise ship. So Norwegian came out with that. Well, Royal Caribbean has just come out with some, some changes. That's right. In some U.S. ports now, you no longer have to be vaccinated to get on the cruise ship. One of them is L.A. with no restrictions. So any sailing from Royal Caribbean leaving from L.A., you don't need to have a vaccine starting September 5th. Same thing goes now for Galveston, Texas and New Orleans, except with one restriction. And that restriction is if you want to go to the Cayman Islands, you have to be vaccinated. They will not let you off the ship if you are not vaccinated in the Cayman Islands. So there's a caveat to those two cruise ports as well. And then they say they are dropping the vaccine requirement for all European ports, unless, uh, with again, a caveat, unless you're going to Greece. And then you have to be vaccinated in order to get off in Greece. And not only vaccinated, fully vaccinated, up to date with your boosters. So again, it's piecemeal and Royal Caribbean has come out and explained why, because they are going to the different governments and they are trying to work with their partners in those areas to make sure that they can just drop things completely. Although, uh, again, you're leaving from New Orleans, you're leaving from Galveston, you can't get off in the Cayman Islands if you have a stop there. It's not always up to the cruise lines. It also depends on the countries you're going to. And for instance, right now, Bermuda, Canada, you have to be vaccinated. And that really brings up the restrictions for everybody uh, for the cruise lines. They, they don't have a choice. Even Norwegian Cruise Line cannot send a ship out of Canada or to Canada without being fully vaccinated. So it's not always the cruise line. Now, Celebrity Cruise Line has also updated their vaccine policy, and that is all EU and UK ports, you no longer have to be vaccinated after September 5th. However, you do need to meet the testing requirements to go. And of course, that does not include Greece. If you're going to Greece, you have to be vaccinated to get off the ship. But they did say LA. So if there's a celebrity ship leaving LA, you don't have to be vaccinated on that. As far as the rest of the North American ports, uh, Miami, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, San Diego, Seattle, you're gonna have to be still vaccinated as of right now. But as we've seen in the past 30 days, these protocols have been changing left and right. I mean, Royal Caribbean just announced that they're starting to ease restrictions and testing for five day or less cruises starting on the 8th. Well, that's just a couple days ago. And now they're already changing protocols starting on the 5th of the next month. So you can see how fast all these changes are going to be happening. We'll see what happens. We'll see how many countries ease their restrictions. Um, there is absolutely no word here in Canada on any changes going forward right now. Um, but I'll keep you abreast of any new updates that we hear from from any of the cruise lines. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world.
that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.